For the calibration, you are going to need our uh, calibration circuit, but you you are able to use the uh, tanks that the hospital already has with their INO system. Uh, the NO tank, it's usually marked green, it's usually a silver tank. Looks like this. Uh, this one's a little old. <laughs> usually says 45 parts per million on the tank. So you'll want to use our cow circuit, hook it to the nipple adapter on their cow tank. Remember, they already have this. They're going to probably have a different cow circuit on there that won't work into our sample port, so just make sure they have the cow circuit that came with the Aeronox. And then that's going to plug in here. We're not going to do that until we turn the unit on and turn the gas on, or else you'll get a check sample line indicated, indication. So when you first turn the unit on, you're going to see uh, this little reverse button here. So you hit that to enter calibration mode. Now you're in calibration mode. You've got some options over here, zero cal and high cal. We always start with the zero cal. So uh, this is a big improvement on the uh, older unit because we can zero everything at once. Used to, we'd have to go through them one at a time. Uh, so we'll hit zero cal. This is giving you your low cal for all the cells. So you'll hold this down till the pie completes itself and then it says done and we've just given us a low cal here. So we're just going to show you how to calibrate uh, the NO for example. We've got our NO test tank. We're going to hit the back button. We're going to go to high cal and we're going to select NO. Then all we're going to do is turn the tank on and start flowing some gas through, hook it to the sample port. And the tank is labeled 45 parts per million, so that's the number we want to hit on our cell here. The book says uh, this process takes about two minutes. For the purpose of the video, we're just going to shorten that a little bit. When you get close to your indicated amount, you can use your arrow keys to fine tune it. And you see I just made the NO equal 45 parts per million. Once you're happy with that, hit the checkbox and it's locked in on that value. Then we can go ahead and pull the circuit. And we do the exact same thing with the NO2. And it looks like this. It's got usually 10 parts per million. We'll put the same circuit on. We'll hook it to the sample port. And we'll run it up to 10. Use our arrow keys to adjust. And that's your low cal and your high cal. Your high cal, we tell everybody to do once a month. The book says once a week. Uh, they can decide on that based on their own policies and procedures. The low cal will do before every patient and also before every high cal. And that's the zeroing procedure. So next we'll go into hooking it to the circuit.